Hello, my name is Nelly, and today we're talking about the Ascendex wallet. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do your crypto taxes with Coinly if you have the Ascend uh, EX wallet. It was also known as BitMax, but that name has changed in the last year or so. Um, so you also might know it from that. The breakdown of this video is pretty straightforward. I'm going to talk about the wallet itself in the beginning, and then I'm going to give you um, instructions on how to do the integration for this wallet with Coinly. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to download the necessary tax documentation. And then lastly, I'll leave you with some resources if you have questions and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So the Ascend uh, EX, Ascendex wallet was founded in 2016 and it's currently based out of Minneapolis, USA. It is actually a top 20 exchange by trading volume. And like I said earlier, it was um, known as BitMax, but their name has changed in the recent past. So this wallet offers the standard uh, types of trading like spot and margin trading, um, as well as futures. Um, they currently offer over 270 trading pairs and 25 plus derivative pairs for some of you more savvy traders out there. I think the most unique feature, however, the, of this wallet, and there are other wallets that have this, but not many, I would say. Um, it's something called copy trading. So for a fee, you can review the performance of other traders uh, and you can follow and copy their uh, instructions their trades so once you activate this feature the exchange will automatically copy all the trade instructions uh, of the selected trader to your account so there are some platforms that do this but I think this is the first one that I've seen and that I've covered in a video but a very interesting and cool feature nonetheless let me know if you know you have a wallet and you're using this feature okay so let's jump into the integration part of this video first as we always do sign into Coinly um, we're going to go into our wallet section and then we're going to click add wallet. So we're going to look for the Ascend uh, EX, also known as BitMax wallet. And we have two different options. I'll cover obviously both. We have the auto sync uh, via the API and we have the import from CSV file. Let's start off with the setup auto sync. So two things to note here before I jump into showing you where to find the API key in secret. Uh, only last 30 days of trade history can be retrieved. Um, margin trades are not supported. So it'll probably mean that you will need um, a CSV file or even manually importing certain transactions. Um, but I'll show you that in the next step. Okay, so we're here at our Ascend EX wallet in the top right corner. We're looking for um, this little icon, our profile icon. And then we're gonna go into API settings. And as you can see, I've already created a API, but I will do it again from, from scratch just so you guys can see it. So in the top right corner, we have a new API key and here we can give it a name like Coinly. Uh, API permission, we're only interested in view. We're not interested in transfer or trade, obviously. Um, IP address restriction, we, got, we wanna make sure this is set um, to no. We do not have a set API whitelist, so something to keep in mind. And then lastly here, make sure to import or to get the uh, verification code and the Google verification code. Okay, so once we've done that, our public key will appear here. We're gonna go back, copy and paste that. Uh, we have our secret to copy and paste that as well. And then we're going to click secure import and watch these transactions load in. And there you have it. These are some of the transactions I have and some of the currencies that I'm dealing with. But now let's jump into the CSV file. So we're gonna head over again into add wallet. We're gonna find the Ascend uh, or the BitMax wallet. And this time we're gonna click import from file. And we're back on the main display here of our Ascend X uh, wallet in the top right corner. This time we're gonna go on um, orders and then cash orders. And here is where we have our information, our you know trading history. Um, in the top right here, we wanna click export to um, CSV export to, to file. Uh, we have two, three different options here. So we have a um, time range for the last seven days, last 30 days, or customize. So let's see, just out of curiosity, can we do longer than three months? It appears that we can. For me, I have not made any trades on this account besides, you know, the last few days. So I'm just gonna click export the last seven days. Now I'd like to point something out here. Um, this file only includes trades, so deposits and withdrawals are included in a different file. Um, if you're using the API, then you only need to import this file since deposits and withdrawals will be already imported 
um, with the API. So if you're using S CSV files, then you'll need to import deposits plus, plus withdrawals um, separately. And one more thing that I wanted to point out is when you request this file, the last seven days do not include the current day. So make sure if you've made transactions, let's say today, and you want to get um, that in an Excel file, you have to wait till tomorrow to download that. And then um, there's a bunch of other, you know, depending on the kind of trades you're doing, we also have margin orders. You can request that here for future orders. You can have that here. Um, and I think those are kind of the main ones um, just to double check here. Yeah, those are the main Excel files that you might need to import into Coinly. Okay, so once we've imported our transactions, we're gonna head over to the tax reports area of Coinly. Here you'll get a nice summary of your transactions, deposits, withdrawals, capital gains, um, you know, costs and expenses, all that information. And you can use this, use this area throughout the year to monitor your crypto activity to kind of see where your taxes will be. And then the bottom uh, area here, you can select the necessary tax documentation. And we have plenty of different kinds of tax documents. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also download TurboTax both online and desktop versions. For the UK, we have the HMRC Capital Gain Summary. We have reports for Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia. We have a big market there, the Australian Tax Report. Um, ATO tax report for Canada and Germany. We have the complete tax report and this is also a document you can take to an accountant and allow, it allows them to combine it with your um, other tax documentation. And as I always say, um, if you'd like to invite your accountant here to set up the accountancy firm on Coinly, you can do that. Um, we're working on more content in this area. And then lastly, always check your country's um, rules and regulations for deductions because in some areas this tax report that you're paying for might be deductible. And that brings us to the end of this video. Here we have some resources that I will leave links down below. We have the Coinly Help Center where we have countless articles on various crypto tax related topics. Um, we also have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a area where you can send us a message or an email if you need further assistance. But if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.